Hello, this is Carlos from the Church of Christ channel. Please subscribe. Today we're going to be switching gears and I want to talk about why I don't think the vaccine is the mark of the beast, all right? And so this will be part number one. And I wanted to switch gears a little bit because I think there's a lot of talk about is this current vaccine the mark of the beast? And we, you know, see a lot of this on YouTube and all of this stuff. So this is why I kind of want to clear this up. So I'm not going to read the scripture, but I want to go through it. So verses one talks about, you know, there's a beast coming out of the sea. You know, he's going to have absolute power with the 10 horns and uh, 10 crowns. And then if you go down to verses four, they worship the dragon, which gave them power unto the beast. And they worship the beast saying, who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Okay, so pay attention to these things uh, as we kind of um, talk about this passage and see kind of what the, the context is. So verses six. So he opened his mouth uh, in blasphemy against God. And he, he was to blaspheme God's name, his tabernacle, and, and them that dwell in heaven. All right. Uh, he also wanted to make war with the saints. All right. And if you look also in verses 11, it talks about the beast of the earth coming out of the earth. And he has two horn, um, two horns, and that sort of thing. And uh, basically, you know, this is all talking about the uh, wicked rulership of the political leader and the religious leader. So, if you go on down to verses thirteen, it, it talks about him making fire come down from heaven. All right. And then um, he had an image. All right, so notice all of this takes place. And then in verses number 16, he causes all, both great and small, rich and poor, bond and free to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And then it goes into uh, all of those things. And in verses 18, it talks about him, it being the number of a man, all right? So what are my reasons for why the COVID vaccine is not the mark of the beast? Well, number one, we have to know who the man of lawlessness is. You know, in order for him to be worshipped and all this type of stuff, we have to know who he is. Uh, the second thing is, I want to say, is he must make a claim to be God. All right, and if you see in the passage, this uh, man of lawlessness will claim himself to be a god. All right, uh, the third thing, and you got to think about is the mark will appear in the right hand or in the forehead. It's like some type of branding, and we'll go over more definitions on the next uh, video. And then the last thing I wanted to tell you is that you won't be able to buy or sell without it, okay? So now, when we look at the COVID-19 vaccine, am I saying that you have to take it? No. I mean, you use your best judgment. I know me personally, I'm not going to take it, um, you know, because scientifically, I don't think it makes sense for me. But unless we see all these dynamics come together as in Revelations 13, we can't really say that the COVID-19 vaccine is the mark of the beast. So I'll come back with more uh, parts to this and we'll kind of break this down. 